Yeah, I'm good. God, you're hot. Hey, 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 whoa, calm down. Don't freak out like that. What? No, I'm not trying to embarrass you. Why would I... Actually, you know what? Never mind. Don't answer that. No, I'm serious. I just kind of said what was on my mind is all. I mean... We were supposed to input our preferences before, so it makes sense that I think that, right? Well, yeah, your hair and eye colors are what I put on the survey, so... Oh, what wrong now? I did what it asked me to do, so I'm not sure what the problem is. Unless you think it's weird because it's, well, me. Yeah, probably the biggest elephant in the room right now. Might as well be, might as well get it over with. <sighs> yes, I am Corex, as a member of the Great Diamonds. Yes, I'm currently having a dinner with you, and no, you are not in any danger. Oh, I just know what re kind of reputation we have. Just putting that out there in case something goes bad and you want to sue me for it later. It happens sometimes. If you want me to help write up a contract to protect yourself from that kind of stuff, I'm all in. But I do have pre-written ones here if you'd like to go over that. It has all the typical stuff like harassment policy and non-disclosure agreement that penalizes us for using personal information as blackmail material against each other any terms through which the dispute is hey don't give me that look it's for both of our safety if you're that concerned about the content of the agreement you can look it over it right now if you need to contact a lawyer to go over it, that's fine with... Really? Considering who I work for? It might be in your best interest to have some sort of legal netting in case something goes wrong for the next couple of sessions. It shouldn't end up being a waste of time or money. It would end up saving both in the long run. We've got plenty of time to go over it. There's no rush. Oh, the uh, one hour is a suggestion. My boss has some connections with the owners here, so if any additional time is needed, then we can be approved for that pretty quickly. No extra charge needed. Huh? What do you mean? Ah. Uh. Yeah, it, it's a date. Well, no, I don't think most people sign a contract for one. But it's different here since I need to uphold organization standards so we can avoid any dispute with civilians. No, it's not a dis business deal or anything, but still. You sure? You're not worried that I might throw my coffee at you and give you third degree burns? Hey, for all I know, you might not believe me when I say we don't like to get civilians involved. Hmm, that is true. You wouldn't look very hot screaming your head off like that. I mean, you'd be hot in the literal sense, but... Not exactly in a way that's beneficial to either of us. <laughs> Honestly, it's not worth doing it in the end. I'd get reprimanded by my boss and I'd rather avoid having to explain my side to PR and spend months of building up a case that would just end up being a waste of money. Plus, I'd probably be put on probation, which is not fun. 
Are you absolutely sure you don't want a contract? You might regret it later. <sighs> Alright. Don't say I didn't warn you. But it's always on the table if you change your mind. So... Now what? Just normal talk then? Normal. Got it. <laughs> so, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. And I don't even think I ever got your name. Ooh, I like that. Do you know the meaning behind it? Oh, I'm just asking because I know the meaning of mine. Uh, actually, you probably already know me as Korax, but that's not my real name. It's Don. But my mother always called me Corvin because I was named by my dad, but she wanted me to be named Corvin. So I went off of her nickname for me as Corvin, and I got Korax. Yeah, Corvin, it means raven. And as I said, that's where my alias comes from. Uh, Corvus Corax. Like the scientific name for raven. Corax. You know. Look, I'm not going out there in the field as Corvin. The whole point is to sound cooler or more intimidating. We, we have to be if we want a better stage presence. It's a good for PR and all of that. Plus, it's free advertising. Saves a lot of money that can be used for legal fees. Also helps in making sure we've got sources for our products. Of course, gotta snatch all the good ones before any comp uh, competition arises. Not good if others are going to sell your stuff for cheaper. Hey, it's just good business. But some people don't see it that way. And God, the light wings are so annoying. Bunch of starving artist types who think they know business because they took an econ class back in high school a decade ago. Well, look at where they are now. Only thing they're good for is waking me up with an espresso shot. And even then, they can't manage to do that correctly every time. Maybe learn what a Marocino is before you start serving your customers and go running around spouting about vigilante justice, Damien. <sighs> oh, oh, and then they have the audacity to tell me how to do my job. And when we don't do things by their standards, they say they're going to equalize the economy and give back to the people. Like, geez, we're a luxurious fashion brand for God's sake, not a pharmaceutical company. We don't owe you guys anything. Go stick your nose into some place that actually matters. If you want to play hero so badly, actually do something productive instead of taking the lazy option. And oh my god, and then they act shocked when we fight back. Like, what did you expect? <sighs> yeah, I, I can see how it sounds weird from an outside perspective. Business people running around with weapons and fighting off vigilantes. Probably why the media covers us so much. Not complaining though, it's cheaper than ad space. I think a lot of us are like that, actually. Typical white-collar workers by day, heroes and villains by afternoon, and the hopeless singles by night. <laughs> oh, I don't mind the label of a bad guy. Brings in more business than you'd expect. People like villains, you know? Including you, I assume. You know, otherwise, we wouldn't be sitting here on a date, now would we? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought.
Do you find me exceedingly attractive like I do with you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I don't expect you to answer that, but that reaction... <laughs> That reaction was pretty priceless. <laughs> <clears throat> sorry, sorry, sorry. So, what do you do for a living? Do you have to deal with idiots every day like I do? Oh, a nurse. Where do you work? Uh... Actually, I've been to that hospital a few times. I don't think I've seen you there before. That's probably why then. They always send me to rehab whenever I get injured. Those laser guns can really mess you up, you know? I definitely appreciate a visit if it ever comes to that. And to be honest, it probably will. Oh, yeah. You got any crazy stories with patients? Like those ones you see on uh, documentaries where you can't figure out what's wrong with them? Huh? A what violation? Uh, seriously? Are you just not allowed to talk about work in public? Uh, well, that sucks. Isn't it hard to just keep all that to yourself? Don't you ever just vent about stuff you deal with every day? Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Coworkers can be a pretty good soundboard. Well, there goes ask. Well, there goes asking how your day went then. Might as well keep a mental note that for our next date. Honestly, that probably gives us more time to talk about our interests and whatnot. We uh, kind of spent most of this one talking about the contract and work. Sorry. Hey, I'd be down the length in the session for as long as you want. I'll give them a nice tip for the trouble. Really? They're making you go in that early tomorrow? Hey, if you need me to get you an extra day off work, I will. We've got some connections with the higher-ups there. <sighs> Suit yourself, but I guess I do admire a good work ethic. Oh, I definitely love my job. I get to tell people what to do, beat up idiots on the side. It's great. Well, I won't keep you. Have a good rest of your evening, and maybe withhold some of those pain meds for those idiots I send in tomorrow. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>